I would suspect there, there's got to be some science around this work from home that I haven't really read much about it, but you know, the articles of the wall street journal are employers are fighting with their employees to get them back. I, I don't see any stories around the long-term effects of just working out of your basement. Yeah. I mean, this is a, this is a critical question. It's something we are working on directly with a number of companies right now to oh, try wow. to help them figure out how to get it right. It's clearly the case that this kind of interaction is not the same as being in the same physical space together. Our brains are designed to exist with people in three dimensions where there's a vast array of physical and other kinds of cues. Like our pupils can't on. quite track on Zoom. It's impossible. Yeah. I can't even make eye contact with you. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's actually impossible. Now, the truth <laughs> is, as a science, um, we were caught flat-footed by the pandemic. So, And nobody could do any research, really, for like a year after or more after it onset. So we're just now trying to pick up those pieces. So, you know, un our understanding is still rudimentary in terms of what's different. So that's just kind of, unfortunately, where we are. I will say, and this has actually been documented, one of the real, you know, one of the best things you can do to keep your brain healthy and alive, in addition to having friends, is to be physical, to be active, to get out and exercise. And one thing that I think has been overlooked is that when you're sitting at home all day and you're not commuting, you're not walking around the office, you're not going up and down the stairs, people are logging thousands of steps less every day. Mm. And if you look at the cumulative effect of that, let's say over years or decades, you know, what's the impact going to be on the health of your body, but also your brain. So we know that like one of the best things you can do to keep your brain healthy when you're older is to keep physically active, right? That, and you know, it, it, it's a big impact on uh, dementia incidents. Um, it turns out, though, that keeping socially active is about twice the impact of physical activity. So just kind of think about that.